hello everybody welcome to my channel and if you are not new welcome back my name is courtney and on my channel i talk about my new life as a wife a stepmom um our home transition and all things in between sometimes i talk about travel sometimes i talk about food and exercising and just living a great life today will be a fragrance and purse haul if that's something that you're interested in please keep on watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos well just recently maybe about a week and a half ago i went to new york and before i went to new york let's talk about that i was trying to find some new fragrances i'm getting older i'm 33 i'll be 34 in december and with getting older you have to have mature fragrances you want to smell good you want to smell good for your man you want to smell good for yourself and when you get older you need more mature fragrances so um i went to a mall um, I think I showed it on one of my videos and I went to a um, Sephora, but the Sephora was in the mall. I think it was inside of a JCPenney and it was not a standalone Sephora. So I don't know if you all know, but in certain Sephoras that are not a standalone store, they may not carry new fragrances. They may carry older things. I don't know, whatever. And so I was not happy because they didn't have what I was looking for. So when I was in New York, I decided to go to Sephora and um, another store. I will get into that. Basically, I have like two YouTube besties that they don't know anything about. <laughs> um, Monroe Steel and High Low Lux. Um, they are two women who speak on fashion and um, different things. And both of them, I have noticed that they have mentioned a fragrance uh, by Mason Margiela, um, his replica brand or replica um, theme or label or whatever, however you want to call it. Anyway, the replica um, brand has multiple fragrances and um, another um, fragrance that I know um, Monroe still speaks about, the name of the brand is called Le Labo. So when I went to New York, I made it a, a point, I made it my business to go get some fragrances. And the Le Labo store, I don't know if it's, I think they're only in New York and there may be some in Paris or whatever, but um, well, since I was gonna be in New York, I don't wanna spend money on fragrances and order it online and not even know what it smells like. So I decided to take a trip and go to these stores and smell them in person. So that way I won't, um, make a mistake and be smelling stank out here so anyway let's get into it um, I'll talk about the Mason Margiela uh, fragrances I got two of them as I said they're called replica but then there are different I don't know if the light is too bright let me bring it up so I bring it back but they're called replica and um, they're with the replica brand there are different names for different fragrances so the first one is called Bubble Bath. Let's see if you can see that right there, Bubble Bath. And I have worn this one before. Some of these I haven't worn just yet, but I do know they smell good based off of my um, time in the stores. But the Replica Bubble Bath gives like a um, clean smell. This is what the bottle looks like. It has like a bluish tint. Um, and it says originally, uh, well, first of all, a replica, re reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. <laughs> so bubble bath is what this is supposed to smell like. Um, provenance and period, Beverly Hills, 2005. Fragrance description, comforting, clean accords. Style description, male and female fragrance. Mason Margiela, Harry. So this is the first one. I'm gonna smell it now mind you I'm gonna be spraying all these on me so um, it is what it is I mean they all smell good hopefully them put together is not a stank smell but anyway I'll just spray on different parts so this bubble bath I'm gonna spray right here let it dry some you all know when you initially spray a fragrance you gotta have to let it dry you have different um, body chemistry so what smells good on me may not smell good on you all I like these fragrances but that doesn't mean that they're going to be pleasing to you or on you so make sure you do exactly what I did take your time go to the store smell them on yourself first and then decide whether or not you want them 
so yes yeah, bubble bath gives like a it doesn't it doesn't give me a bubble bath smell but it gives me a fresh clean scent almost like clean laundry I think they actually have one that's called clean laundry but this gives me a more of a clean laundry smell real fresh and light not real heavy smells real good bubble bath jazz club and jazz club has like a brown tint to it can you all see there we go jazz club all right um originally jazz club provenance and period brooklyn 2013 fragrance description heady cocktails and cigars style description this actually says it's a male fragrance but i like the way it smells i'm um, gonna spray it let it dry this, and i love the way this smells honestly i wouldn't even mind if my husband wore it but i mean i picked it out for myself but it gives me like a a vanilla cocoa musk smell I don't know I do pick up some type of vanilla undertone or like a caramel or whatever but it's like a it is a strong scent but I don't know it gives me sexy and I don't know but it smells good and like I said it's called jazz club I guess it puts you in the mindset of you're in a jazz bar and you uh, hearing the music and everything but I if I if I see if I if a man walks past, if my husband not just any man if my husband walks past me and I smell this on him I'll definitely be like oh babe where do you think you're going <laughs> but anyway so yes this smells good I like this one there are plenty of them um, I'll probably be showing you a clip of different of the array of fragrances by uh, amazing Marshalla under the replica brand um, but these were the two that I decided on um, also while I was in Sephora now the, I got these from Sephora I don't even know if I said that or not but I got these particular ones from Sephora now also um, now I normally when I get fragrances I like to have like sweet um, almost candy like ones but not too too sweet like a sexual candy smell if that's anything but so I got so like I said I went to the store to get these mature more mature smelling fragrances however I you know I still like my sweet smelling fragrances so I asked the guy who was helping me you know what would he recommend because my signature fragrance is Can Can by Paris Hilton like I wear that I've been wearing that since I was in college I've worn that all the time. People would smell it or smell a shirt or smell a pillow. I'm like, well, that smell like Courtney. That's because that is my scent. So I basically gave him that as an example of what I usually wear. And the fragrance that he um, suggested for me was Perfect by Marc Jacobs. And I love it. Let me show you all the bottle. The bottle is what got me. I was like... <laughs> I want this particular one. It's so cute. Look. It looks like a, a present. <laughs> and it's so, so cute. I love the top on it. It has all types of different things on it. But um, get to the smell. I'm going to spray it up on my forearm. Because I'm running out of space on my left arm. But anyway, smell. Let it dry. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, this smells so good y'all I guess I still would I will never veer away from my sweet smelling fragrances this is so it's like it gives you a nice feminine smell sweet feminine but not too girly and it kind of gives you like a candy smell let's see if this kind of gives some type of description mm, I don't think so no description sorry but it is yeah i don't know how to describe it other than i guess it kind of give you a little fruity smell too but not too fruity like i don't know it just smells great mm. like it gives me like a summer summer or spring um vibe it has like a little light pink tint to it i don't know if you can see let me move out of the way 
but it smells good i love it and i will definitely and i haven't worn this out just yet i just know how much it's how much it smells good but i will definitely keep this on my uh, warm weather fragrance uh, list <laughs> so those are the ones that i got from sephora um while we were traveling down there in we were going to harlem and we stopped at the apollo theater took some pictures out there and while out there there i'm not sure if you all are familiar with like certain cities they'll have different people out there sm um, selling oils or different things and there was a gentleman out there selling different oils now there i bought some candles a while ago and the candles seemed like it, they were made from oils that people would sell out on the street I, uh, I wasn't able to find those particular oils that smelled just like the candles that i purchased but i was able to find a different type of a different oil and this oil smells delectable like i've worn it to work and a lot of people have complimented me on it and it kind of puts me in the in the mindset of like um pro african pro black in the 90s like where people wearing the dashikis and you know having the uh different um cross color and kente cloth uh tire whatever however you want to call it it smells good and the name of it i mean it's um, all these oils really look the same like they sell them in these little bottles they have like i think a bottle smaller than this this bottle and then one that's bigger this is the medium sized bottle i think it was like ten dollars but um this one is called can you all guess <laughs> black women <laughs> and it smells so good i will say it's very strong these oils these a little bit definitely goes a long way put it right here but this kind of gives me like a almost like a clean smell also fresh out of the bath but with baby powder with it i don't know it smells so good you guys if you're ever in dc new york i'm sure you know whatever big city that you're around and people um, are outside on the street selling oils ask them if they have black women because this thing I mean it reminds you of a, a strong black woman as smelling good strong black woman at that <laughs> make sure you all uh, get this because this smells great um, oh I forgot to uh, say also while in Sephora let's go back to Sephora <laughs> Um, the guy who helped me out also, he gave me three samples. I haven't worn these, but he gave me, um, Jador Dior sample. I'm guessing he gave me these samples based off of the fragrances that I purchased and the one that I asked him about. Um, he also gave me, um, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. This is another, uh, I'm sorry about the light. This is another um, uh, sample he gave me. And then the last sample he gave me was Chance by Chanel. Can you all see? There we go. So I will be trying these out as well. I, uh, I will say that when I try fragrances, or when I'm wearing fragrances, I get kind of used to them. I get to, um, I start wearing them like multiple days throughout the week. So I'll have to maybe like take a week to try on everything. So a week per fragrance so, so I can get a good wear, a good um, reaction from others to see how everyone feels about them. I will be going back to the building soon. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> So when I as I go to work, I will see. I won't say anything, but I'll see how people feel about the different fragrances and see what kind of reactions I get back from them. All right. So the last brand that I got while I was in New York, as I said, the name of the company is called Le Labo. Monroe Steel. She always rants and raves about this company and this particular fragrance. Um. The fragrance that she always speaks about is called Santal 33. Now, this is the box. This is the name of the brand. And then this is the name of the fragrance. Can you all see? 
Here we go, Santal 33. But when you go there, which I didn't know, this was a great surprise for me. When you go there, they actually make the fragrances um, right there in front of your face and you can get your name on it. So I decided to get More Life with Courtney. Why not? What else would I get? I don't know if you can see. So they can put your name, whatever name you want. I got More Life with Courtney, the date that it was made. And with um, the 50 milliliter or larger bottles, you can get um, half off of a refill. They will refill the bottle for you for half the price. And so I got Santal 33, as I said. And then the other that I got is called Tay Noir 29. Let's see. Let's see it. There we go. Tay Noir 29. And it has my name and date. Now, the numbers uh, along with these names are based on the number of ingredients that are used to create these different fragrances. I can't say it does give a whole lot of the different um, ingredients names, but. That's all I can tell you is that the number represents how many of those ingredients are in these different fragrances. Now for Santal 33 and Tay Noir, these are a part of the mature smelling fragrances. These are the bottles that they come in. The bottles also have your names on them. Let me see. Sorry for it being so bright. There we go. Santal 33. It has a name. Also, also where it was made. So I got it made. I went to Bloomingdale's on 59th Street. And so I got it made at the uh, Lay Label in Bloomingdale's. So anyway, Santel 33. I'll spray this on my right wrist. Now I have worn Santel 33 and Tay Noir. And both of them are very nice, very sexy smells. I think Monroe still calls Sense House 33 the smell of New York. So why go to New York and not get the smell of New York? But anyway. Sense House 33 kind of gives me like a minty yet musky smell. But it smells good like you're walking down the street, walking to the subway. <laughs> and it gives you like a fresh minty musky smell but not a stank musk like a smell good musk but I get like mint some type of mint uh, tones in this I felt even though Santal 33 seems like it's more popular than Tay Noir I feel like I may have started to wear Tay Noir more often than Santal 33 although they both smell great but um, let me spray so I can give you a a, um, a description of how I my take on it this this does have more of a musky smell but not a musky but a musk smell and it gives me nighttime I guess noir means black black night it does give me more of a night on the town um, feel or vibe I don't say it gives me a minty I don't know how to explain it I don't know Hmm. It's hard to explain. I guess you have to try it out yourself. I don't know. It just gives me a sexy night out on the town musk smell. I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it is what it is. I don't know any other way to explain it. Other than it smells good. So, if you're ever in New York, check out Le Labo. Um, the fragrances I committed on were Tay Noir and Santal 33. However, um, and I will say that the guy who helped me out, he was definitely knowledgeable. I forgot what his name is. Let me see if I can find him. I ended up following him on Instagram. Let's see if I can find his name. The Big Bad Wolf uh, Gabrizi 3. Anyway, he was definitely knowledgeable on his fragrances. 
He definitely got excited when I told him I was putting all of this on my YouTube channel. We ended up following each other and he was a great help. I really appreciate you, Gabriel. So, like I said, those two fragrances were the ones that I committed on. However, Gabriel gave me a few samples. Okay, you guys, also, while I was in New York, I didn't purchase these purses while I was in New York. However, I um, got these delivered to me. I made the order before I left, and while I was gone, they were delivered. You all know uh, the place where I get all of my earrings is Shein, but I ended up getting... I like I have purchased a few of my purses from them and um, I will say I may have uh, overindulged but it is what it is I love purses I love uh, accessories and I love fragrances so treat yourself <laughs> I have not worn any of these purses yet um, so I'll be taking the plastic off as I go so just be patient this first purse let me see if I can adjust the lighting so it won't be so bright. There we go. This first purse gives like a mint green color. It also has a gold chunky chain that you can accessorize it with. A black clutch. You stick your arm through and wear it like this. It has a gold hardware, gold zipper, zip to the top. It has an inside zipper. Now, I guess you could wear it as a wristlet too because it has a little wristband here. Zipper inside and zipper on the front. I got that in white also. Oh, I don't know if I gave you a close up to it, but it is, has a good texture. And I will say, when I ordered these purses, it didn't take a long time for them to come in the mail. Maybe about a week and a half or so. But like I said, I got these in the mail while I was gone to New York. And they package it quite well, so it doesn't get damaged in transit. But anyway, so... And I will say, all of these purses are like, most of them anyway, are top handle. I want to get... I like the top handle purses nowadays. They're cute and quaint and don't overtake your um, your outfit. So this one is like a, a navy snake skin top handle purse. Zips at the front. It has a long chain so you can wear it over your shoulder or a top handle. And it also comes with this blue ribbon that you can tie on it. Another top handle. Snap in the front or oh, no it's I'm sorry it's a push push up and unsnap open that way also has a gold chain to wear over your shoulder if that's how you prefer to wear it I got a black puffy purse like the green one I just showed you all but it's black it has the same hardware the chain that you can wear as decoration or a top handle or the chain that you can wear over across your shoulder. This is more like a white or cream puffy um, color. Let me pull it back. There you go. And um, it has a top handle, um, button, it opens from the front. It has two sections on the inside. It has a handle to wear over your shoulder with gold uh, hardware. Another top handle, but this is like a cognac color and it's a mini um, top handle purse. It's a little mini cognac purse. It buttons up the front and then it has um, the same color band to wear if you want to put it over your shoulder. It's a cute little purse. It doesn't fit your phone, so you'll be having to hold your phone in your hand however this is a cute little thing to put your a small little wallet or your uh, lip gloss or whatever in it but it's not really practical it's just cute cream or white uh woven bucket purse another um pull it back some another top handle i love the detail like i said it's like a woven design like a woven basket and it's pull drawstring in the 
in the middle, if you all can see. And it also has a white um, strap to wear over your shoulder. A, another mint green purse. It has gold hardware top handle um, and gold accessories. It, let's see, how do we open it? Oh, button on the front and toward the top. It has two sections inside and another green strap to wear if you want to wear it over your shoulder. You guys, I can't wait to be wearing these purses. I gotta find some other outfits to wear with them. But at least I'll have, I'll be accessorized to the nine. This gives you like a, um, it's a white snakeskin mini top handle purse. Can you see the snakeskin? Might be too bright. And this also has like a, um, it's not, um, it's patent leather um, material. And it also comes with a gold chain if you want to wear it over your shoulder. Um, you all let me know in the comments what are your favorite styles of purses. I know back in the day we used to wear the smaller purses. I think the smaller purses are coming back in style. I went from small purses to huge purses that can fit my entire life in them. Now, I guess you could say I'm going back to the smaller purses. And these are like cute purses for very reasonable prices. I'll have everything linked below. This is another snakeskin style purse, multicolor. Top handle, miniature, it zips at the top, and also comes with a gold chain if you want to wear it over your shoulder. This one is a bit of a lavender. Also, I bought these different colors because I want to jazz up my um, my collection. I always buy black, brown, gray, or like very neutral color purses, but. Um, I wanted to jazz it up and uh, offer some variety in my purse collection. This is another, it's not it's not considered a mini, but it is slightly smaller than the other purses. It is a lavender uh, snake skin, or no, I think this is actually alligator skin is what it's considered, but lavender color, gold um, accessory at the front. Um, button pops open in the front one section and it also comes with a gold chain if you want to put it over your shoulder pink cream and gray with gold um, accessory this trash um top handle it has like a little lock closure turn and open inside gold chain I didn't realize it had words on the front. It says Sunny City, whatever that is. I might give this away. But um, it has, it's like a, like a, a muted mauve or muted pink color on top handle. Sunny City, whatever. But cute color. Button in the front opens this way. Oh, the handle comes out more. And gold chain to put on the shoulder. Got these purses. These are cute, like going to brunch purses. Something that you don't need um, a whole bunch of space for. Just something to put your phone, your lip gloss, your wallet, or, you know, whatever small little things that you may need. These are very inexpensive yet fashionable purses that you all can use for a cute little outing all right you guys thank you so much for uh sitting here with me for my um fragrance and purse haul i hope you all um uh, found something that you may like um i may be doing these more often it depends we shall see but i just wanted to share these things with you all thank you so much if you like this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any new videos and i will see you all in the next video Bye.